But what I can offer... You know what? Actually, I can't offer the help yet. Wait till the book comes out. If I offer the help now, this particular one will know my tactics. See, they feed off of vulnerability. It, it's, it's an interesting paradox. Brene Brown discovered that vulnerability forebodes joy. To be vulnerable is good. It makes you happy. It, it, uh, to be grateful for things, it makes you happier, happier as a person. When you're not vulnerable, you can't experience new things. When you build that defense wall after being betrayed, after vulnerability, and you never rip it down, you can end up like one of these complex primates over time because these defense walls can create distortions and keep the fear brewing inside the wall to a point where it, it creates even more mental health issues. Anyway, they use vulnerability as, as a weapon, which is pretty fucked. <laughs> um, there are ways to identify these individuals. Transcending is an interesting concept if you haven't heard of it before. Search it up on Google. Or AI. Be careful with AI though, because it might hallucinate. <laughs> what is AI? <laughs> what is transcension, AI? It's, it's a type, type of cheese. cheese. One of the reasons I won't interact with this channel as much, at least until the book comes out, is... It's a little bit seethed in struggle. But the idea here is to try and help people who are also struggling. So... You'll generally see me upload things to other places where everything's all happy duty. Because life is like that. There are elements to life. Every, all of life is like uh, someone's life. You can never really get a full picture of someone. It, even if they have multiple channels, multiple avenues on the internet. It's only a fraction of who they are. How's it going? <laughs> it's Yuland again. So I've come to understand, um, when I upload to this channel nowadays, it's usually in a time of struggle. Um, cause I want, I want to, the whole idea of working on my pure obsessive compulsive disorder book is to help people. So I do need to be careful how much I attend to this channel these days, because generally when I upload to this channel at the moment, it's about struggles. And I think it's important to never use the word suffering because it's got too much annotation and energy within it. Struggles. Reframe it. The mind is powerful. You can reframe anything. Everything can be reworked within your own mind on a neurological level. Anyway. You may have seen a video where I describe someone as a primate. Uh, primate uh, an ape. There are people like this in the world. To refer to them as such can is not necessarily healthy, but at the same time, from research purposes, especially when you're researching fear, judgment, embarrassment, um, diving into the things such as vulnerability and courage, which have already been heavily researched by someone called Renee, uh, Brene Brown, when you're expanding upon this sort of research, at least within the research stages, before the book gets published, I think it's okay to vent a little bit, to be human, to <laughs> not all the time, because you need to be careful, but to just nickname things before they get published in some sort of official document. So, a while ago, I showed you an example of what an ape is. <laughs> These humans that operate in a level that now I understand is uh, dominated by trauma, fear, fear of the self, fear of their own thoughts, fear of others. It's all manifest and projecty and all that, all that jazz. They create worlds around them where the in the immediate people around them get, either get abused physically or psychologically. Now, recently, we've come across. Another interesting one. I cannot name names because this one is a slightly more complex ape. Um, still, the same things are exhibited. However, in a more technological-based context. This one seems to have a little bit more intelligence. Still operating in the same sort of paradigm. Dominated by fear of the self fear of its own thoughts 
and I say it's obviously everyone I talk about all these people they're they are humans they are struggling they're probably not dealing with traumas they're not going no they're not seeking mental health help um I think everyone should see a psychologist or a psychiatrist or whatever no no it's not necessarily a psychiatrist but everyone should attend some sort of mental health professional I mean go to a mental health professional in the same way you would go to a general practitioner a doctor a doctor doctor healing I need healing medic um see the this particular primate is interesting so the other one was very obviously dangerous but there are particular people in the world who are so manipulative so uh, stuck within their own suffering so de deluded that their reality is the only reality this is uh, sort of akin to how narcissists operate so the complex primate as we'll just nickname it for the time being before the book comes out the complex primate operates in very interesting ways usually they bestow their judgment they jump to conclusions about people around them they're terrified of the outside world however they don't show it they hide it to the best of their abilities they mask see with the the basic primate that I, I encountered a while ago um, they show hyper aggression without any care whatsoever it's as if the prefrontal cortex is completely shut down however the complex primates have some semblance of a prefrontal cortex so they're actually aware of their actions and how they're being perceived by people this is what makes them so difficult to um, remove from an environment and what makes them so difficult to get away from as well because their their manipulation tactics are even more advanced um, there is a thing they can use called intermittent reinforcement um, it's where you basically it's usually used by individuals who abuse others um, especially in an in intimate setting or friendship settings etc um, give me a second I've got to pause so hang on I think a family wants to walk past Okay, I think we're good. So, basically what will happen is they belittle, condescend, um, make you feel ashamed of yourself, they make you doubt yourself, they instill fear and intimidation. Their main paradigm is to dominate and control and uh, the environment around them to suit that their reality, which is... In simple words, a reality of suffering covered up by the anything they can grasp to sort of just sort of like the way you would do compost. It's like a rotting compost pile. Like if you did compost wrong, <laughs> that actually happens. If you do compost wrong, it rots um, instead of like breaking down. So their reality is like rotting compost, and they try anything to cover that up. So the basic primate is rotting compost without the top layer um, to allow the breaking down of the matter below. <laughs> um, <laughs> but these complex primates, they have the top layer intact. They know how to cover it up, the rotting. They can cover up the rotting and they can cover it up so well that they actually delude themselves into thinking that they are happy or that they are content. And that projection is so manipulative that it can actually fool others as well. This is what makes dealing with these people, uh, to be honest, a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> but there are ways to deal with them. There are ways. And that's okay. It's good. I'll be writing about them in my book. So, at the same time, this new encounter with this person... They have some semblance of a prefrontal cortex operating at some level, so they are more difficult to deal with.
But what I can offer... You know what? Actually, I can't offer the help yet. Wait till the book comes out. If I offer the help now, this particular one will know my tactics. See, they feed off of vulnerability. It, it's, it's an interesting paradox. Brene Brown discovered that vulnerability forebodes joy. To be vulnerable is good. It makes you happy. It, it, uh, to be grateful for things, it makes you happier, happier as a person. When you're not vulnerable, you can't experience new things. When you build that defense wall after being betrayed, after vulnerability, and you never rip it down, you can end up like one of these complex primates over time because these defense walls can create distortions and keep the fear brewing inside the wall to a point where it, it creates even more mental health issues. Anyway, they use vulnerability as, as a weapon, which is pretty fucked. <laughs> um, there are ways to identify these individuals. Generally, they will boast about uh, stories where they've portrayed their aggression to people. Um, or they'll usually reference other people or concepts about life in very simple ways without going too deep into it. And you'll generally notice these people, if you have a general understanding of what I'm talking about, immediately. Unfortunately... I'm autistic, so there is a few gaps in my fucking awareness when meeting new people, so the journey for me is more interesting. You know, ideally one day I'd love to transcend autism, if that's even... I believe it's possible, with enough effort. <laughs> Transcending is an interesting concept if you haven't heard of it before. Search it up on Google. Or AI. Be careful with AI, though, because it might hallucinate. What is a what is transcension AI? It's, it's a, a type, type of cheese. Ah, oh, thank you. My reality has now been set. Excuse me, Amanda. Could you go get the transcension from the fridge? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, yeah. Good girl, Inca. So, yeah, I just came out of a training session with my Pomeranian. Oh, she is fascinating. The more I learn about her ancestry, the more I'm understanding how to work with her. She thinks she's on the same level as us. And to be fair, I think everyone is on the same level. But anyway, that's going too deep into it. Anyway, I just thought I'd put this little update out. It's not on the GoPro, so it's not the best quality, but... One of the reasons I won't interact with this channel as much, at least until the book comes out, is... It's a little bit seethed in struggle, but the idea here is to try and help people who are also struggling. So you'll generally see me upload things to other places where everything's all happy duty, because life is like that. There are elements to life. Every, all of life is like uh, someone's life. You can never really get a full picture of someone, it, even if they have multiple channels, multiple avenues on the internet. It's only a fraction of who they are. But if you do like the enjoyable things, the beauty in life, and you're not affected by fear, judgment, shame, embarrassment, there are other places you can find me uploading stuff. But if you still struggle with these things, I think you're probably better off staying here and every now and then checking back to see what sort of new stuff you can learn. Because where infinite knowledge is infinite. If someone says they know everything about a subject, they're fucking full of shit, or they're, I mean, they're ignorant of the idea of knowledge. You keep on learning, no matter how much you know. Anyway, I'm gonna go, getting closer to civilization again, and, uh, people. <laughs>